Adonis. And I'm going to use the kumquat down into my Texas style baked beans. And then for dessert, maple bacon cupcakes. If I don't win this challenge, I'm going to be very disappointed in myself. I'm trying to um, make sure that I go for what I know the judges may like. <clears throat> B4. What that means is perfect. Each judge gave the highest score to me, 999, six out of six judges. Perfect taste, bite, appearance, and texture. So I got this. I can cook these ribs. My beef ribs are going to be a Nifa style dry rib. My wet rib is going to be my spare rib. Sauce wise, I'm going to be using a Kansas City sauce. Adonis. And I'm also going to make an apple crisp. The bones that I'm most interested in are going to be the ones that are going to be in here to there. Those are the ones going to the judges. I can say I'm a little bitter about it, to be perfectly honest with you, but other than coffee, the rest I'm not really familiar with, and I just drink the coffee. I'm going for a dry on the beef, wet on the pork, with a smoked mango scotch bonnet, barbecue sauce. For my sides, I'm doing radicchio. B4. <clears throat> cacao brownie. I'm just trying to get some stuff on the smoker and figure it out as I go along right now. Seeing, hopefully I can pull something out. Adonis. Get in. So the difference between a pork and a beef rib, the pork rib, it's, it's way more forgiving. Maybe a quarter inch of meat on it. That beef rib is just a big, thick cut of beef that you really got to know what you're doing to get that thing tender. Only some experienced cookers. 